It is the dawn of another quiet morning. On this morning at 7 o'clock, President Jose P. Laurel, accompanied by members of his cabinet, kneeled in prayer before the altar of Malacanang Chapel. The Philippine Republic was born in the very midst of a world at war. Since then, one year has passed. One year of difficult reconstruction. One year of fervent sacrifice for the sake of the youthful nation. Thus, were great footprints of nation building left on the annals of Philippine history. Late in the afternoon, a colorful ceremony celebrating the anniversary was held on the grounds of Malaganyang. Bearing the marks of one year of tireless struggle in guiding the nation, President Laurel, with firm and steady strides, appeared at the grandstand. Last year today, President Laurel stood in the limelight of the world as the first president of the independent Philippine Republic. For the countless heroes and martyrs who shed their blood to break the iron chains of four centuries of oppression, silent prayers are offered. After that, President Laurel then expressed the firm and unswerving policy of his administration. Ikalabing apat ng Oktubre, taong sang libo siyam naraan at apat na putat no. Isang taong singkat, buhat noon hanggang noon, na naitayo natin ang bagong Republika ng Pilipinas sa hirap na ito na dinadanas ng ating bayan. Nahahanda ako na magpatuloy sa nang makikita ninyo na aking inilalagda sa pamagitan ng tulong ng aking mga kasamahan sa pamahalaan upang tunay maging wagas, maging dalisay sa gitna ng isang digmang na yung idinadao sa isang sinuko sa gitna ng kagutuban sa gitna ng kamatayan sapagkat ang kamatayan may matamis katulad ng ibinuro ng ating mga bayani kung niya ay magbubunga ng isang pag-asa at ng isang atahika ay pinagpakamatayan nila Filipino citizens sponsored various celebration activities. Among those received most enthusiastically by citizens was the personal appearance of stage and screen stars. Leaflets distributed by these beautiful stars passed into the hands of onlookers. Favorite poems and songs by Liwai Wai Arceo, Norma Blancaflor, and Corazon Noble brought enthusiastic applause from citizens who recalled the boundless joy of independence gained one year ago.